Hello, I make a lot of videos for work, just quick little screen recordings in which I'll explain something that's on the screen. I'll have a little picture in picture. And every now and then I'm asked, how do I do that? Right now I'm shooting on my phone with my phone audio and such, but this is sort of like a tour of my desk. Now, I don't make videos all the time, so it's important to me that my desk also just be set up for normal work. So, uh, tip in the tripod here, keyboard, mouse, uh, tower. And then over here, we've got the, the laptop, which is just always closed. It's, I use it like it's a Mac mini. I use one port on it and it's guts. I don't use the monitor or keyboard or mouse or speakers or microphone or battery. Um, and so this is pretty much how it's always set up. Now this light isn't always on. That's my key light. It was a $50 thing on Amazon. I don't recommend it, so I won't link it up or anything. Uh, and then my dad gave me a like photographer's umbrella. It diffuses the light. There are fancier setups for sure. There are nice light diffusers, but you could also do a simpler setup. You could have natural light. You could do a lamp. Lighting is probably more important than the camera that you're gonna use. Even my webcam, uh, which I don't really use, uh, under certain lighting conditions, it looks amazing. The thing to keep in mind is webcams built into a laptop or otherwise, they have a fixed aperture. That's the size of the hole. And there is an optimal amount of light. I don't know how to figure that out other than trial and error. And that's how I've done this. Up here on a tr little desk tripod, I have a camera set up. You could just use a normal tripod as well. I just love photography. And so that's how I'm, how I've got that set up. This camera happens to work over uh, HDMI or in my case, oh, I guess I'm doing this over USB. I could do it over an HDMI as well, but I don't. Um, because uh, I would need an extra little HDMI capture card. It was just cheaper to do it over USB. And then finally I have this, um, microphone, which is plugged in. Uh, let's see if we can, well, I'm gonna move that out of the way. This little interface here, <laughs> this interface um, lets me plug the microphone in and then over USB that goes into my computer. So uh, microphone to USB, it's on a little handy arm to get it out of my way. And I've got a, um, one of these, what are they called? Like it's a noise cancelling thing. So sibilants and explosives don't get into the mic. I also think the black is just nicer looking than the chrome. This is a, an SM58. I was in a band before, so I have some musical gear. You don't need a microphone like this. This is actually the foam cover for um, a fancier like podcasting microphone, which I don't have. I just bought the foam because it actually is for the same microphone like internally. Um, and so this is the optimal distance to be from the microphone. I'm rarely that close. But anyway, so you could just see really quickly, I could just like pull that out, that's ready to go or put it away, it's out of my way. I turn on the camera and then I fire up this software, it's called OBS. We'll take a look at that next. Here I am in OBS. I have manual focus, so I don't think it's totally nailed there. Um, yeah, and this is sort of the background of my office. I actually oriented all the junk in the background so that there's not really anything in front of my head. Like, my head should be here. There is a piece of paper on the wall. I don't mind that. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it gives me a little bit of depth. Also tells me where to sit. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this feed off. And now you're seeing this one here. It's um, my little picture-in-picture. Picture, and I can resize that. And you can also see the desktop. But... I uh, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to turn that off and resize this a bit. So you're seeing a lot less of that uh, telescoping madness. Okay. So we have scenes, which I never use. Um, is this covering anything? Oh, this is perfect. Okay. Now that I've resized things, hopefully it's not too crazy to look at. Um, at the bottom here, we have a bunch of stuff and I, and I don't use it all. So I don't use scenes and I don't use scene transitions. I do use sources and this mixer and these controls. And I also want to point out that up here in the taskbar of my Mac, I do have some other options. And I bet if you're on Windows, that would just be at the bottom. 
Um, I haven't done that before though. Uh, so over here in sources, I can have different audio and video interfaces. And so display capture is just capturing the monitor that's plugged into my laptop. I believe it's a different input if I'm recording off my, uh, my Mac laptop itself. Likewise, this thing that's great out here called Mac cam is the uh, webcam for the, the laptop itself. And then I have the USB M50, which is my camera. Uh, I tried to rename it one, so it would be picture in picture one, so it's full screen. But when it's, it's, it's the same object, renaming it just changes it in both places. So if I just, if, if when it's highlighted in this blue, I feel like you can't really see the eyeball. So uh, if I clicked that eyeball, it, it goes full screen. If I click it again, it turns off likewise with other objects. And I think I could lock it. What happens there? I locked this one. I don't know, it's still turning off and on. Uh, and if I right click on it, I can go to like properties and such. Um, and I hope this is still recording that. Oh, okay, I was just in the way. Um, yeah, here I could pick different objects. So there's a virtual camera, there's the FaceTime camera, which is um, the laptop one or at least iPhone camera. So that's the, this thing called continuity camera. It's built into iPhones now. You get all these options. If I plugged a USB webcam in right now, it would show up here. And then I get to choose its, uh, its quality. So over USB, my camera can only do up to 720. If I want HDMI, I could have 1080. That's not worth 120 bucks to me. So I don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, I can configure a camera. And then I also need audio. So over here, I could see the green bouncing up and down. That's not a given. That doesn't always happen. Like tomorrow, it might just not be happening. I have to go into here, go to properties and switch. So this is like the thing that you've run into, no doubt during COVID, where you turn your camera on or your computer and like, oh, the sound's not working. You got to go figure it out. For whatever reason, your computer, regardless, Mac, PC, Chromebook, it's just switching the input source. It's just guessing. I don't, I don't know why. Anyway. So USB audio codec is the name of that little box that I showed you on my desk. I could also use my iPhone or the one built into the laptop or Microsoft Teams audio. I don't know what that is. I, I use Teams twice a year. So uh, I'll hit cancel. And how high should this be? If I slide this blue line up or down, it's gonna make uh, me louder and it's do turning up the gain. So it's just pulling more information out of the microphone. Um, my way of setting that, if you, there's all sorts of fancy ways that, um, you know, pro video people do it. But the, the way that I do it is I just record a test thing. Then I go to YouTube and I play like Marquez Brownlee or Linus Tech Tips. And I just listen to my video back to back. Is it about the same? Is it as clear and as loud? So I just go back and forth on that. I think that's easy. Over here, we've got the controls. I never do streaming, I do recording. And um, so I hit start and I could come back to here to hit stop or I could just hit stop uh, in here. You can set a keyboard shortcut, but it's like every time I do that, I reformat my computer within minutes. <laughs> I don't know why. It just doesn't stick and it's not a thing that I go out of my way to do. Uh, and then also I could start a virtual camera. So if I wanna use my M50 as my webcam, I actually need to do fire up OBS, and start a virtual camera every single time. Uh, that allows me to use this as my camera in like Zoom or Google Meet or probably Microsoft Teams. Maybe not though, I can't remember. There's always something that that one will get me on. Uh, and then finally, I wanna show you settings. Um, so there's a lot in here um, and I'm not going to go through it all. I think with a curious mind, you should just jump through it. Um, uh, this is funny. You just can't change the settings while you're recording. So this is a screenshot that we're going to look at now. Uh, the one setting that I do recommend is recording format being MKV. Um, it might be an extra hoop to jump through if you're going to do some video editing. However, what this allows is for your recording to just fail. Like your, your computer could crash or your camera could just stop working, which has happened to me a couple times. Um, and then the video that you've recorded will still work. If you record an MP4, there's something that happens where you hit stop and then it has to like finalize the file with like headers or something like that. Uh, and that won't happen if a thing crashes. It's only burned me once, but that's enough. I just use MKV and I don't have to deal with that at all. That's just the shallowest of overviews. 
hopefully now you know enough that you would be able to sort of ask a question of Google or reach out to me. Um, there, this is a whole art and a science. Like it's an entire career path to understand all this stuff. So like even just the lighting or researching camera gear and audio equipment on all this and how to edit and all that, it could literally be all you do for your whole living. So uh, it is complicated, but um, I think COVID has made us all a little more forgiving in various qualities of audio and video setup. So um, we just do our best and usually content is king. And that's what people are really watching videos for, just to be able to quickly show and tell and explain something with hand gestures and words and tone and inflection. It's just such an awesome way to communicate. And I hope this video has been helpful.